Hi everyone, this is Teacher JM, and welcome to Science 3 Quarter 2, Week 2 of the revised K-12 curriculum, with the topic, Measure the Length and Width of Different Natural Objects Like Leaves Using a Measuring Tool. By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to measure the length and width of different natural objects, like leaves, using a measuring tool. What do you do when measuring? What tools can we use to measure objects, such as leaves? We use tools such as a ruler and a meter stick to make our observations on length, height, and width of objects more accurate. Today, we will learn how to measure leaves accurately using rulers, just like scientists do when they study plant growth. What is length? Length is the measurement of the distance from one end to the other of an object, representing its longest or most extended dimension. What is width? Width is the distance across something from one side to the other. The width of a leaf influences how it catches sunlight. When measuring, always place the ruler on a straight surface. If placed on a curved surface, the measurement will be inaccurate. Sessile leaves have no petiole, part of the plant that connects the leaf blade to the stem. How do you know that a plant is growing? Which one do you think is older? How can you be sure? As plants grow, their leaves get bigger. You can measure the length and width of plant parts to observe changes in plants. How do we know that leaves are getting bigger? By measuring their length and width, we can tell that leaves are getting bigger. Using measuring tools, we can accurately measure the length and width of leaves. Why do leaves differ in length and width? They differ in length and width because they have different shape and sizes. How could measuring leaves help farmers or scientists? It could help farmers to know which plants are healthy. It could help scientists in checking how plants grow in different places. Let's answer the evaluation. Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. One. Which statement about the leaf is true based on its measurements? A. It is 8 meters long. B. It is 7.5 millimeters wide. C. It is about 7.5 centimeters long. The correct answer is letter C. 2. Which diagram shows the correct arrow for measuring the length of the leaf? A, X, B, Y, C, Z. The correct answer is letter C. 3. Which diagram shows the correct arrow for the width measurement of the leaf? A, X, B, Y, C, Z. The correct answer is letter A. 4. Which of the following statements is a correct step in measuring the length of the leaf? A. Place the ruler across the widest part of the leaf. B. The one mark of the ruler must correspond to the edge of the leaf. C. Place the ruler from one end of the longest part of the leaf, either the tip or base to the other end. The correct answer is letter C. 5. Which of these is not correct? A. Anyone can use measuring skills to find the size of a leaf. B. You can put a ruler on a curved surface to measure the width of leaves. C. We can measure the length and width of leaves using millimeters and centimeters. The correct answer is letter B. That's end our lesson in science. Three-quarter, two-week, two of the Revide K-12 curriculum with the topic, 
Measure the length and width of different natural objects like leaves using a measuring tool. Thank you for watching. This is Teacher JM and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. You can also support our YouTube channel by clicking like button, sharing this video, and putting a comment for the content that you want us to cover. Again, thank you and see you next video.